this is either going to go really well or be a complete disaster but I thought what might be interesting for this week's vlog is to do a week of what we have for dinner. As a family of four we have a 15 year old and a 10 year old uh, and there's me and there's my husband. Me and my eldest both eat meat, my husband and my 10 year old do not eat meat, they do eat fish and we have quite a busy life. Um, lots of after school card stuff going on, stuff we have to work around for dinners and everybody likes different things but I thought it might be interesting to show you what we eat in a week and it is quite eclectic and I am no good cook, trust me but I always love to see what people are eating I love watching vlogs where people share how they make stuff people who are much better cooks than I am but you never know, it might be interesting to you so I thought I would share I've just been putting together some vegetables for quite a, starting off the day it's Monday today, it's pouring with rain which is fine by me, it's the middle of June um, and everyone's grumbling about it but I love it I love the rain and I love the miserable weather so I am quite happy I can cook meals with the oven on because it's not too hot so today uh, we were all going to eat together the girls are having sausage and mash which is really easy to do they'll just have it with some frozen vegetables we get the Richmond sausages for anyone interested we get them for both of them, so for my eldest she just has their normal sausages but my youngest has their meat free sausages and by far these are the tastiest meat free sausages we have found and we've tried all of them, <laughs> well probably not all of them but most of them and these are absolutely lovely so they're having that and some mash I'm not hungry because I went out today for lunch with my friend and it was lovely um, but we did eat quite late and I'm still quite full up so we're going to eat a bit later tonight um, and they've got their guides and rangers party tonight which marks the end of the guides term for their particular unit for various reasons they're ending early this year so we're going to take them out for that We've also got someone coming to pick something up that we sold on eBay and we're just going to be running around. So I'm getting stuff ready for Dan and I to just quickly shove in the oven and cook whenever we're ready. Dan's going to make extra mash so we can have that with our salmon, which we're going to have later. So we're going to have a bit of an eclectic mix of flavours. I don't know what that timer means, Dan set it. I really fancied some kind of Southeast Asian flavours. So I've just done some courgette and mushrooms and I've put turmeric, a little bit of ginger, um, some garlic granules and some basil, just like literally maybe like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each and about a teaspoon of sesame oil and I've mixed that all together, it smells utterly amazing. So I'm going to do some similar flavours to put on the salmon and I'll show you how it turns out. The timer went off. Yes, I'm sorry. What was it for? Uh, I've got to put the veggie sausages in the oven. There we go. Dan's doing the kids' uh, dinner because I was out until about half an hour ago. <laughs> I'm just going to, because we're not having this till later, I'm just going to cover it up. And this is not my idea. I've shown this before, but I've stolen this from my friend Gainer, who has the Tales from Cuckoo Land channel here on YouTube. She saves the insides of uh, cereal packets washes them and cuts them up and uses them as reusable cling film which is exactly what I'm doing I could just lay it on top but I'm going to put a couple of rubber bands around like that and that'll be good ready to go in the oven later dinner is all sorted and all we need to do is heat it up. We've dropped the girls at Guides and Rangers uh, where they're supposed to be there for two hours tonight. So what are we going to do Dan? We're going to try and visit an ale house. We are, we're going to frequent public house. <laughs> we'll probably get a phone call in 10 minutes of yeah, a torrential downpour. <laughs> yeah so we're going to the pub. <laughs> Should 
Dan is ready. Right, we're going to dig into our slightly eclectic Southeast Asian, our slightly eclectic dinner. It's about nine o'clock at night now. We're two drinks at the pub in and we're starving. Tuesday, trampolining Tuesday, because on Tuesday evenings Phoebe goes to trampolining, it's a big palaver, we have to get there, we have to get her back, um, I usually meet up with a friend whilst I'm there because her daughter does it and we might come back here for a cup of tea and then go back again and we don't get back till late, she can't really eat before because you, know, you can't really go and jump up and down with your stomach full of dinner, uh, so I'm getting everything ready now so when we get back we can just cook it super quickly, we are having stir fry tonight so it's a bit of a mishmash, well not a mishmash, it's a bit of um, different things for different people because the kids don't really like courgette which is my favourite vegetable and they're not fussed on mushrooms so I'm going to cook those separately for Dan and I but we're all having red peppers, onions, adami beans, um, carrots, broccoli and bean sprouts so it's all going to go into pan. I'm probably going to throw in some corn pieces as well because Dan accidentally bought a whole bag of them the other day instead of corn mints. <laughs> so we've got those that we need to use up. Uh, we've got a Sharwood sauce and I'll probably water it down a little bit just to make it nice and saucy and we're going to have it with some noodles. I do have some whole wheat, um, a whole wheat version of these that I want to try. But I wanted to give them a try maybe for lunch one day before I put them on the table in front of everyone else just in case it's a disaster. I hate it when I put something on the table and everyone's like mm, meh. I like a successful dinner time. I'm probably going to pre-cook the onions so that's done, uh, get it all ready to go and then I'll be taking Phoebe to trampolining and when I'm on my way back I'll call Dan, ask him to get the pans on and start cooking the bitch. Hope it's okay, everybody. Corn. Right, it's now about quarter past half past eight, um, and dinner has been eaten. It was very nice, but it, as I feared, it wasn't one of those everybody's. At, well, Dan and I were delighted with it, but the girls were a bit like, "Yeah, it's all right." It's the worst kind of meals, especially when there's so much chopping involved. So we're going to get on with our evening now. The girls are going to have showers. I've got to make my lunch ready for my work day tomorrow. I work on Wednesdays. Um, so I'm going to go and get that all ready so if I don't have to do too much in the morning. I have to leave quite early on a Wednesday at about 7.30. Uh, so I want to get ahead. And I'll see you again for tomorrow's meal. Do you have a good sleep? Yeah. Okay, I'll have a friend. Come on, go and get some breakfast. The floor has been swept. It's closing time and I'm a little tired. It's a long time since I'd slept. The things are moving forward. Good morning, it is a very sunny but quite cold June Wednesday morning here in Kent in the UK. I haven't got my usual sunglasses on, not that you'd know what my usual sunglasses were. They were completely uh, broken, as in snapped. So sometime between putting them in my bag last night and this morning, they have snapped. I have no idea how that happened. Fortunately, I keep a spare pair of cheapy glasses in my car, so I am wearing those, but they keep slipping down my face. I thought I'd just say hello, so that you don't spend the whole vlog looking at my hands, chopping things. I'm on my way to work today, and it's gonna be a really 
Um, it's going to be one of those days that's packed full of lots of things. So I'm in work. I'm going to see if I can leave a bit early because Phoebe's got a friend round for dinner after school. It makes it sound posh, doesn't it? Like they're having a dinner party. <laughs> She's got a fair amount of plate and they're having chicken nuggets and chips. Well, Phoebe's not because she's vegetarian, so she's having her vegetable nuggets and chips, or she might have fish fingers. But it's one of those nights where the kids are going to have a real kid-like freezer meal, um, which is fine. Once a week or so, and they really enjoy it, and it's easier when a friend is round. Dan is going out. Uh, before that, though, we'll have to um, arrange for the friend to be picked up and get Lilia from where she's going to be at her boyfriend's house uh, studying. Uh, for her exams that she's got this week and also she has a flute lesson <laughs> at 6.30. Dan and I are going to have some shop-bought posh pasta because we just couldn't decide what we could fit in cooking on a day like today so that we both eat when we need to eat and before Diane goes out. So I'm going to pick up at some point like some posh torta, not torta, yeah, tortellini or ravioli and we'll have that with a little bit of spinach or something like that. So that is the eating plans for the day. But I thought I would share with you my journey to work. It's something I used to do a lot when I did daily vlogs here and over on my other channel. Little Drops of Wonderful. So I thought I would flip the camera around and show you a bit of my journey. I drive from North Kent into South London and some of it it's very pretty and some of it I actually go down a very long narrow country lane across country and I know a lot of you find it really interesting to see because it is a single track road and I drive on the left hand side of the road because that's where we drive in England and yeah I will flip the camera around I'll speed it up a bit so don't be alarmed I'm not driving that fast really <laughs> typical I got stuck behind a lorry but at least it gives you a good idea of the width of the road ahead you can see he can just squeeze through woohoo I got past him so now you can see for yourselves the winding narrow road ahead and as we come around here just on the left you can see a pointy building that is an oast house they appear wherever hops are grown They're, they were used as part of the kilning process in the brewing of beer most of them have been converted into houses. Now as we come round the corner here, I'm gonna slow it down to show you an example of fly tipping. This happens on this particular road a lot. People will come in the night where it's, when it's dark and nobody can see them and just dump their rubbish that they don't want to pay to dispose of at the local tip. Some more fly tipping coming up on the left. This isn't actually as bad as it usually is. Sometimes you see fridges and sofas. Where I work, the grounds are very lush and green and very well managed by the gardening team. So I took a few shots of the flora and fauna on my lunchtime stroll around the grounds. It is 10 to 6 on Wednesday. Traffic was awful. I stopped at Asda's on the way home and they didn't have a massive selection, but they did have some Rana. What is it? Mushroom and mascarpone. I was just looking at the packet, but it doesn't actually give me, I hate this, any recycling information. It has that symbol on the back. See the little recycling symbol? But as I understand it, that doesn't mean it can be recycled. It just means that you should recycle if you can, but this doesn't tell me if I can or not. 
No, nothing. So I'll have to have a look at their website to see if their packaging is recyclable. Anyway, we're not eating it yet. We're going to feed all the kids first. And then I'm going to take Lydia to her flute lesson. It's only half an hour, but while she is in there, you can't see. You can't see, but I've got my... Uh, <laughs> I've got my walking stuff on. I'm going to put my trainers on and just walk for half an hour to get a bit of exercise. It's the only time in my day I'm going to be able to do it. I used to sit in my car, catch up on messages, knit or whatever. But now I use that time to be active. Let's go and get this evening done. Hello, it is Thursday. Uh, Dan came home from work and took Phoebe to her swimming lesson tonight. She wouldn't normally have swimming on a Thursday evening. Normally she has it on a Saturday morning, but um, because of the pandemic and everything that's happened, the only way they can start opening up and taking classes again is by doing it in the evenings because they're not allowing them to use the pool at the moment at the weekends. So she's doing that just for a few weeks and Dan, thank goodness, has taken her because I feel like I've been here, there and everywhere with the kids the last couple of days. So I'm gonna get dinner ready so that it's on the table when they get home. Really easy, straight from the freezer. I have got some of my own homemade bolognese, which we're gonna have with spaghetti. And it is my dad's recipe, which I've shared before. Um, and I will show you, I'll hold it up to the camera so you can pause it. Okay, this is an actual um, scan of the page in the cookbook when my dad made his own notes. So there is all the ingredients. And I don't know if you can see his modifications there. Apologies if not, um, but he's changed quite a few things, including quite a bit more red wine and quite a bit more basil. <laughs> a few other things as well. And the method is there. Okay, so you can pause that and see if you can read it. Um, a few people have made it from where I shared it previously. Um, and if I can find the video where I did share it, I shall pop the link to it underneath because I think I actually wrote it out. And I've made two versions. So it says uh, to use 175 grams of minced beef. I always use 200, uh, 250 gram packet just used a lot and I've made a corn version so I've almost done it exactly the same except I make the sauce first then I add the corn and I do about 250 grams of corn or normally like a 300 gram bag because that's how it comes so I've got um, two portions of corn bolognese for Dan and Phoebe and I've got two portions of beef bolognese for me and Lily so all I need to do is heat them up Add spaghetti, dinner is done. Oh, I'm so hungry. Is that real? It smells delicious. And then after this, I'm going to go and have a really long hot Did bath. You and I'm going to watch time. Loki. It's Friday, and I've been at work all day today. And if you've watched the vlogs before, you will know Friday night is. What's Friday night, Dan? Pizza night! Friday night is pizza night. I'm going to go and get my comfies on and pour a glass of wine. Get the pizza ready and we always watch a movie. Tonight we're going to watch Luca. Luca, the new Pixar film. The new Pixar film. I've just been doing a bit of editing and this video is getting too long. So Friday is going to be super quick. And if you watch these vlogs before, you know exactly what happens on a Friday night for dinner. It is Saturday night, it's quite bright looking up, and guess what? We've just picked our very first homegrown radish. This is not all that's for dinner. In fact, I'm not cooking tonight. No one is cooking tonight. I've been overruled. 
and I didn't put up much of a fuss. Take away Indian! That is very loud. Take away Indian! Take away Indian. I need food. a shower, I'll see you later. Yeah. Here's a radish. Go. In case that was too loud to understand, we are getting takeaway Indian. Indian. <laughs> I didn't take much persuading. Uh, Lily is at a friend's house until about nine o'clock. She's there for a birthday party. So she's not here, so it's just the three of us. So we're just gonna get a nice Indian takeaway, choose something to watch together. And I'm just gonna keep it really short and sweet because there's not a lot to say about getting a takeaway. And I'll see you again tomorrow when we're having something a lot more complicated, which I think you'll like. So I'm gonna go and get changed into my comfies, pour myself a glass of wine, and dig into my Indian takeaway when it gets here. That smells nice. Here's my dinner. I have palau rice, three onion, three onion bhajis, and some naan bread, and this looks like chicken, but I am a pescatarian, so it's not. It's paneer, and it's paneer oh tikka masala, because when I wasn't pescatarian, tikka masala used to be my favorite. And now that I am pescatarian, I have paneer tikka masala, which That's is cheese. Fun. Look, yummy, yummy, yummy. How's your dinner, Mum? I haven't tried it yet. Let me tell you. Hang on. Mmm, delicious. How's yours, Dad? Absolutely yummy. Yeah, absolutely delicious. It's Sunday and it's about 11 a.m. Dan has just taken Lily out to Blue Water to meet her friend. Lily, uh, Phoebe's gone along for the ride. I got woken up at half past two in the morning and 4.15 by next door's dog barking. I can't even begin to talk about it. And I probably need to go and talk to them about this because it's uh, becoming quite the regular occurrence, but the thought of having to deal with it fills me with enormous anxiety. So I'm gonna have a big cup of tea and one of my favorite biscuits, and then I'm gonna get stuck in to chopping stuff for tonight's dinner. We are having pot stickers and chili tofu ramen. The recipes I use are from the book Ch uh, Vegetarian Chinese Fake Away. I think that's what it's called. It's by Guac Wan and I will link the book underneath. It's a fantastic book that we got from the library um, and then eventually ended up buying because we just liked so many of the recipes. Um, but it is a bit of a faff to chop all the stuff. It's really hard to talk to you like this. I'm gonna go I'm going to kneel down. Well, that's better. Um, it's really hard. There's a lot of chopping involved, so but it freezes really well, the filling, after it's cooked. So I'm going to make a big batch of it and cook it all up and then freeze it in batches. So next time we have pot stickers, I don't have to do all the chopping. It can even be a midweek meal because once all the filling is done, the rest of it is so simple. But I will show you as I go. <sighs> so tired. Well, all of those vegetables have gone down to just this. That's about enough, I would say, for, well, I've made double, double the recipe, so I'll be able to put a load in the freezer um, for future. It's a lot of work. It's taken me about an hour from start to finish to get that all done. It smells amazing. The windows have all steamed up. <laughs> My eyes are watering from the onions. Um, and now that has to cool completely before we can turn it into, uh, put it in, as a filling into the pot stickers which we'll probably do with the girls and my mum. Oh my goodness, the kitchen mirror is steamed up as well. <laughs> and now I've got to clean up the carnage that is the kitchen. And through the steam, we can see Dan dismantling the trampoline in preparation for getting a swing instead, as requested by the girls, and also to make room for our new household members who will be arriving in August. We're getting chickens. 
We have a pot sticker making factory going on in the kitchen. Where mum's here and making her make her own dinner. Pinch, 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 pinch. Beautiful mum. <laughs> Not as nice as Phoebe's. This is Phoebe's demo. This is mum. Very good first attempt. It looks more like you poked it than pinched it. Right, that's like Lilia, are you going to have a go? Yes. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really good, Lilia. It looks um, like a Viking boat if you hold it up. Very like good. That's her head and that's her tail. I'm pretty sure I'm finishing this vlog in the same t-shirt that I was wearing when I started this vlog. So that finished, that brings it all round nicely, doesn't it? The noodles are all done and the last sort of 20 minutes, 25 minutes have been really frantic doing everything at once. So I've served up the noodles in advance because when I pour the broth onto them, it'll heat it back up so I can get that out of the way. The pot stickers are cooking, the broth is made, and I've done the crispy tofu and the chili chicken as well. So all we need to do now is wait for the pot stickers to cook, serve it up and yum it up. Everyone's very hungry and very excited for dinner. My mum's never had them before, so she's really interested to try them. And that concludes our week around what we've eaten for dinner. I hope it was interesting and I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we've been eating and all the other little bits that were thrown in like the driving to work and everything and maybe you've got some ideas for dinner and let me know what you like to have um, for your midweek meals when you're in a hurry and you've got a million things going on I'd be really interested to hear it in the comments underneath and while you're down there don't forget to hit the like button if you don't mind and thank you very much for watching and I'll, I will learn to speak and I will see you again next time. And so will Dan, who is lurking. <laughs> like a lurker. Lurk, lurk. Bye. Right, that's yours? Yep. This is Phoebe's.